basically. What happened was Bruce Forsyth has turned around to me, right, and he's gone, you are the favourite best comedian I've ever... Sorry. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next act. I haven't worked with this gentleman since the Variety Hall days back in the 40s. In them days, all he used to do was grease himself from head to toe in lard and try and climb a very greasy, slippery pole. It doesn't sound good to you, I know, but by God, we knew he'd make it to the top. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Noel Fielding! I went home the other day and my mate went to me, someone came round for you and I went, oh yeah, who's that? And he went, oh, I can't remember. And I went, well, come on, remember, it could be someone really good, who was it? And he went, um, all right, oh, no, it's gone. And I went, well, describe him, you know, he could be brilliant. And he went, well, he's what I can only describe as a large see-through blob with thousands of tentacles all coming out of his main silvery being. I went, all right, anything else? He went, yeah. He was dressed like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I went, well, you seem to be describing the jellyfish there. And he went, yeah, he said his name was Portuguese something. And I went, ah, oh, Portuguese man of war, it's a jellyfish, oh, I know. And he went, no, Portuguese man with no name. <laughs> In brackets, I ain't gonna leave town. The thing is, yeah, he'd come round, yeah, for my starfish. He was gonna run him out of town. <laughs> Roy, my starfish, he was furious. He's a pacifist. He went, oh, don't do fighting. <laughs> I went, Roy, come on, surely you do something physical. Come on. He went, oh, I'll play Kabaddi. <laughs> I went, Kabaddi, what's that all about? He went, it's an Indian game. It's on Channel 4. It's essentially boring. I went, Roy, just shut it. <laughs> I went, come on, we've got to train you up. Went, come on. Oh, sorry, Roy, get up. And um, so I got him small little guns and some holsters, and I got him a little cowboy hat, and he took that off and put a Speedo one on. And so next day, yeah, it was going to be next day at the local swimming pool, noon, yeah? So I took Roy down there, and he was all ready in his cowboy gear. The jellyfish was ready. And the big swimming pool like that, and up one side, it was all jellyfish, and they were all like that. Some had moustaches, some had jellyfish perms. And on the other side, <laughs> and on the other side, it's just me and a small fox with a rusty hammer, like that. And I went, you here to support Roy? I here to support the boy? And he went, no, nah, I've come to fix a diving board. <laughs> So, jellyfish was in the deep end, and Roy was in the shallow end, and you could just see the tip of his head sticking out of the water like that, and the jellyfish was up the other end, and it all started getting, you know, really tense, and there was close-ups of everyone's eyes, and it was all... <laughs> well, that was just me, then I sat down. And, uh, <laughs> got a bit embarrassing, no-one else got into it. I was going... <laughs> and they were all going, you're a fool, aren't you? And, uh, so anyway, the lifeguard, he went, go, blew his whistle, and it was, the gunfight was there. And the jellyfish went, like that, with his gun, Boo. and the bullets went like that. Because it was underwater, bullets were going quite slow. So it got to Roy, and Roy just went, ah. <laughs> and then Roy went, Boo, Boo, with two, like that, and they came in like that, and the jellyfish went, ah. <laughs> so I got my locker key out, and I just threw it at the back of the jellyfish's head like that, and it hit him in the back of the head, and he went, who flipping did that? I'll take your head off. And I went, Roy, now do him in the back like a terrific cheat. Go on. <laughs> He's going down, and Roy went, Boo, and he went, don't do it. And he went, oh, ah, it's a double. <laughs> Working as a team. And I went, ah. Oh. And then, you know, it went on again for about five minutes, and uh, suddenly there was a float in the water. Do you remember them sort of gravestone licorice all sorts that you used to use at swimming? <laughs> it was floating, and Roy was looking at it like that. He was going, oh, I'm going to lick that. Oh, I'm going to lick that magical piece of foam. And I was going, no, Roy, don't concentrate on the fight. Concentrate on the fight. And he was going, no, oh, I'm going to lick that. And he was, like, jumping up trying to lick it. No, Roy. And the jellyfish went, do, 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 big circle of bullets, like a huge, heavy zinc loaf of bullets like that. And it was coming right for Roy's chest, and he was just looking up like that. And I went, Roy, no, it got him right in the chest. Oh. Yeah, exactly. A little bit slow, but exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped in the water as an instinct. I just jumped in I went, under the water. And I went, Roy, how could I do it? To you? Come here. And I gave him a big hug, and we were both crying. But it was underwater, so it didn't matter. We still looked like men, and we were crying. Like that. <laughs> Tears were floating to the top. Oh, I can't believe it. Roy, how could I do such a thing to you? Oh, God. And he just got up and went, well, that's all right, because it didn't pierce his skin, because the bullets were going quite slow. He just brushed it off like that. <laughs> Turn round, jellyfish was flat on his back, completely dead. No bullets, apparently in the chlorine. Really done his jellyfish eyes in. Because <laughs> Roy's not stupid, he had goggles on. That's me, too. I'm going now. Bye. <laughs>